Jughead hat. Well, we were doing the walkover, which we probably should have broadcasted today. Uh, Louis C.K. was telling us... Uh, a horrific oh, flying Jesus. story. We told our little story, which now sounds like a cute little airy plane ride. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when we had to fly in during the storms into a Newark airport after our Vegas show. After the yes. Vegas show, and it was it was quite the bimpy ride on the way yes. in. Uh, we hit that wall of clouds, and then it was nothing but pure whiteout clouds until we broke through. I, the ceiling was probably at 800 feet. Mm -hmm. Well, Louis flew an airline I would not fly. Really? No. United? Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with United. Why? Exactly for the reason. Because, because they're fucking cunts. Because that sounds like a take the bull by the horns pilot, though. That's the kind of guy I like. Because I was sitting there in the airport saying, uh, uh, what happened to us was we, we got on the plane. They loaded up first class. So we were sitting there drinking a drink. Sipping. Sipping. And uh, they start boarding, you know, last class, as Kenny likes to call it. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden they get an announcement. Uh, could you get up and leave the plane? Uh, there's a, now a delay. See, right. I thought they were Weather. just talking to coach people exactly. because they smell the joint up. Right. Could you get out? Because we don't want you in here while we're waiting. <laughs> but uh, they told everybody to get off the plane because there's going to be a delay. get off the plane because it's funny to us. <laughs> we want to watch you get off <laughs> yeah, and back on. Exactly. So they made us all get off the plane. Yeah. Because of the delay, because of the weather. Right. Then uh, they tell us it's going to be, you know, like a, a, an hour or two. Yeah. And meanwhile, ten minutes later or so, they go, "All right, back on. We got a window." Yeah, get out, get back in, on. get Everyone in. Everyone back on. So we all run back on the plane. Yeah. And during that time, though, I say, you know, I want a guy, I want a pilot, a man yeah. that go that that has been in wars, that just goes, you know, something. Fuck this. Yeah. I've flown in this shit before. We're going for it. <laughs> right. Well, that's what I have. And just that you have that. See, yeah, no, sometimes you get a pilot who says stuff like, I had a pilot once who said, uh, you know, we're not, they're not letting us take off. L.A.'s locking down because of the weather there, but I anticipate that it'll clear up by the time we get there. So I'm actually telling them we're going to Las Vegas. I've had a pilot say this, and then we'll reroute. How, like, well, you're lying to the fucking <laughs> power? <laughs> Don't lie to them. Uh, control, we're yes. going to um, Las Vegas, <laughs> Colorado. Nevada, Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. Well, we might, we might take a turn somewhere before that. So. We play. We're going to Las Las Guardia. But so this guy, we're sitting at the gate waiting, and then he said, "Actually, the delay isn't because of the weather; it's because the fuel gauge is broken on the plane." Of course, it is a hunk of shit. Airline. You know. So, but we we they had somebody. The, they still have the ashtrays in the bathrooms. Yeah, no, nice. I mean, yes. that's exactly. why, that's that why equipment I, is old. That's why I can't fly United. I had to once, and I saw like. <laughs> Ashtrays they still didn't take out of the bathroom, which means, wow, this plane's pretty old. And then they had like a razor dispenser or something. Yeah, you could actually right? get a razor blade on You the could plane. shave. <laughs> yes. Right here in the plane, you yeah. can shave if you want. The miracle of modern flight. Yes. Fucking nice. Light up a lucky strike and join us yes. on a transcontinental flight with no stops. It's the miracle. As soon as I saw the old ashtrays, and it might not have been United, but yeah. it was some airline. I'm like, it was a white knuckler all the way. Yes, and the seats have that kind of 60s Mike yep. Brady yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of uh, yeah, yeah. pattern on them. Yeah. Oh, great. If, what, if what the seats are old, how old is the engine, really? Exactly. You're going to tell me they, they replaced them. Great. That's still yep. not going to give me comfort. But <laughs> contact. Yeah. Yeah, contact. And yeah, the engines are made from space-age polymers. <laughs> yes. So the guy says the fuel gauge is broken, but we filled up the tanks, we topped them off, and we had someone climb up and look in the tank. That's oh, what you do God. when you, you have a motorcycle. To, and you don't want to know. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to know that there's a dude. You want to think that something really weird and scientific is. Right. It's like a dude looked Some in the Some guy wing. looked. I hope that dude is not a fucking idiot. Like, now I have to hope. Well, you or, hope he has depth <laughs> perception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, and hoping he's not just. Just hung over like yeah. That. Oh yeah, I checked uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> did you check the wing? I fucking of checked. Of course yeah. I did. Shut Fuck up, you. Fuck all those people. On the but plane. since they tell me there's a little like minor thing like that's broken, I'm like, it, what else is broken on the plane? Yeah, exactly. And usually when your car breaks down, it's not one thing. All of a sudden, everything yep. is breaking at the same time. But here's time, the right? thing: this was like a little time release capsule of terror that he left with us because <laughs> he sure. said he said this is no problem because we know we have more than enough fuel to get there. Sure. Because it's full, that would be more than we need, and we can even circle for a little while with that amount of fuel. So then we get to LaGuardia and we're circling and circling and circling and then he says, we've only got 20 minutes worth of fuel left. 
<laughs> How the fuck does he know that the when the fuel year? gauge is broken? Yeah. Yes. He did a math problem in his head. Probably. He did it. Yeah. He did it through time. But look, he, he's saying he knows how many hours you can fly on a certain amount of fuel. Yeah. But if maybe there's more stress on the engine when it's get when it's going through nice bad weather. Nice headwind. If he's five minutes off, we're gonna drop from the sky like a <laughs> set of fucking car keys. Avianca did that. Yeah. Right into Long Island. Yeah. So so he goes. Uh, we got 20 minutes of fuel left. So and Laguardia is uh, you know trying to shut down, but it's minute to minute. So we're gonna go ahead and make an approach to Laguardia Airport. And as we get closer, if it gets bad, <laughs> we'll divert and use the last of our fuel to land in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We have enough fuel to do exactly that maneuver. Oh, my so, God. So then he starts coming in. We'll divert to a place where there's lots of we'll big divert. open fields where innocent We're, people won't be killed. We will divert to the yeah. fucking, to the, to, you know, to the Verrazano Narrows. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one thing uh, you won't have to worry about is uh, fire. There is no fuel left in the tanks. Yes, exactly. uh, We are doing 500 miles an hour, but yes. uh, you won't burn. Thank no. you. But so he he starts coming, and we start dropping down into the clouds, and it's the ugliest fucking... I mean, the clouds are yellow and brown out yeah, the window. Yeah, it was nasty. Well, you and were listening water, to thing, right? Yeah, and so me and the guy next to me, the fucking two idiots, we put on the headphones and listen to the channel that you can listen to the tower. You can listen to your plane talking yep. to the tower. And so he says, to United 266, we're making an approach, we're making an approach. And then we hear LaGuardia Tower say, do not land 266. The, <laughs> the winds are far too heavy. This is not, it's not safe for landing. We're, we're shutting down. Don't go divert right now. How do you not pull the headphones off and just yeah. make believe you didn't hear yeah. it? Like, and the guy says, we can't divert now. We're only we have only four minutes tops of fuel left. Holy! So we have to come in. Oh. God. And the tower's saying it's not a good idea, but go ahead because All what right. else are you gonna do? Give it a shot. Give it a shot, and, Jim. All right, hot <laughs> shot. <laughs> and right at that moment, the stewardess comes up to you. Would you like to have some coffee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no exactly. clue. Smiling. <laughs> yeah, no. The flight attendants are all strapped in and invisible. They're nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm holding on like it's gonna help. I'm holding on to my fucking window, like the edges of the window, <laughs> just like just in my. Oh. Fi I'm stamping my foot just uncontrollably. <laughs> wow, you are fucking scared. Well, because we're dropped. We keep dropping, and the and the once the 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 uh, the landing gear goes down, and there's all that drag on the plane. Yeah. The thing is pitching and rolling and making impossible banks to the left and right. I mean, it's like a oh, fucking man. like a joke. And we're going and the woman, there's a woman behind us holding two children screaming and sobbing, <laughs> literally, literally going, "Oh my god!" Oh my God! She's doing exactly that. That's the soundtrack for everyone on the plane. Oh my God, that's horrible. And she's got tears bursting like she's on a fucking train to fucking Auschwitz. <laughs> no, my God, I gotta die. She's saying her kids with oh, her. Shit. She's saying we're gonna die to her kids. She's telling oh, her kids they're gonna fan die. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah, and for the flight, the pilot sounding stressed. On the even more than I've heard black box recorders, Ooh. and the pilot oh, is no. like sounds like he's smoking a cigarette till the second before. Um, he's like, we only have four minutes of fuel. We have, we can't divert. Like he sounded like that. You just so, about it. You probably thought you were watching a movie. Oh no, like, it was like, like wow, this is why, great. Why like, wouldn't this be death? If I wasn't on why, this plane, this, this would be, be great awesome. to listen to. This is well directed. <laughs> yeah, I love this movie. I love the woman in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> she was awesome. And we drop out of the clouds, and we see where we are. We are so close to those fucking Queens housing projects that uh -huh. are in the X shape. Yep. Like it's like the nightmares you have. If we were to, if the if the wing were to tip over, we'd hit. You're the hitting building. it. And we're going. I've gone over those housing projects thousands of times. I fly all the time. We're going so fucking fast. We're flying like shoom, we're just shooting over oh, Queens. Man. And every, even the most Texan tough guy passengers that were on, from Denver that were on that plane are like, whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. And we just, it was so bad that when I just to jump ahead for a second, when I got in the cab, uh, uh, the guy said, the cabbie said, I saw that plane come in, that looked bad. Like, cabbies on the they ground. Just had we're watching it. that one Because we're the only assholes in. that fucking landed. No one else was coming in. <laughs> and so we're coming in, and the plane is looks... I mean, I, I'm convinced we're hitting the BQE. We're going to just, whatever it is. And we hit the ground so fucking hard. And my heart is racing, and I had tears in my eyes, just like just involuntary, wow. just tears coming down my face. Like, what are these? And the pilot says, "Ladies and gentlemen, you are free to turn on your cell phones and call your loved ones." And every single person 
with the phone was the whole plane was chatter of like Holy you wouldn't believe what shit. just happened to me, honey. I thought I was gonna die, and I looked at my phone oh, no. and I thought about calling my wife, and I was like fuck her. <laughs> I didn't call her. <laughs> <laughs> fuck her. I thought I was just about to die, but. Fuck ah, fuck. You wow. call like a friend. I don't hey, want to. dude, you never guess what the yeah, fuck no, just exactly. happened. Because I know it would have been like, honey, I thought I was going to die. Oh, that's awful. Did you, uh, are you, what time are you getting in? Uh, why no, are you still, like, tomorrow that... morning are you going to let me sleep in? Well, honey, I just thought. Why wasn't that reported? Well, fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> why didn't that story get out? That's obvious. I don't, he, it was that really bad. Be fired. He should be fucking fired. It was really oh, bad. The pilot. Bad the judgment. pilot. I think what happened was that he had enough time to do what he thought. He, but then the tower sent him through an approach that took longer than it took he expected. Longer. It's just what happened with Avianca. They they were flying around, and that was a language barrier too. They were, they didn't declare an emergency. Uh, they declared something that was just under an emergency. Yeah. So they kept diverting him from airport to airport and making him circle. And the plane ran out of fucking gas. Yep. And the the people that survived the crash were like, all of a sudden you hear this silence. And all you hear is the wind yep. whooshing over the wings. Uh. Whoosh, whoosh, no more. And you know how, how the, the, the noise of the engines kind of cancels out noise in the cabin? Yeah, no. You hear everything. Yeah. You hear the people in the back fucking row if you're in yeah. first class. Yeah. And just whoosh, and, the worst. and they crashed into the woods. Yep. No fire, no explosion. Just no, cracking and what, trees and fucking, you yeah. know. Yeah. A lot of people when live because no, of that. Those, right on, right, kind of near where I live. No, no, when? When you run oh, out of fuel in a, 10, a 12, plane, maybe it's longer not like when you run out of gas longer, on a 15. car. When you run out of gas on a car, you can actually, like, use the starter motor to get it a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can right. You kind of keep sputtering. But on a plane, it's just, it's And gone. you can stop and get the fuck out yes. no matter where you but are in a car. How did the dudes, because he told us that he couldn't be sure how much fuel there was on the plane before we left. Right. He said, we know the gauges are wrong. But we're going to go anyway because we've seen the gas. So then you bet it. Well, then you know something? But when you get that close, you go, let's fucking land now. You might even be able to justify that if you're going from point A to point B without any That's problems. That's fine. If you're going into weather where yeah. you're going to have to circle. And when you're now, talking now about you we have that. four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes left. How if fast is that four minute minutes? minute off, you're dead, and Holy he has shit. no gauge. That four minutes is not four minutes in a no. dentist chair. Yeah. No. That four minutes is four minutes on yeah. on a roller coaster. See, all <laughs> of our pilots now, fucking... all of our pilots are Vietnam combat tested by, by mm. pilots, but they're also fucked up Vietnam vets that <laughs> yeah. kind of don't give a shit. They yeah, see some shit. Yeah. That, uh, they just yeah. think you're a bunch of faggots whining on the yeah, back of the All plane. you people that call me a baby killer, uh, <laughs> we're going in. Yeah. It was uh, 1990. <clears throat> mm. Avianca. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, why don't we take a break and continue? That's uh, that's that's a fucking awful. That's a great. That is story. a harrowing experience. <laughs> Worst flight ever for you, I guess, right? Easily. I mean, yeah. I'm on a fucking platinum and 50 yeah, different airlines. I fly a million miles constantly. probably. Yeah. I fly through bad weather all the. I, I I sleep through it. I don't give a shit. I yeah. actually have often turned to people around me on planes that look scared and said, "I've seen this. This is nothing. Don't worry. About it. I don't care. I like flying." The lady behind me, by the way, I was, I even, I kept yelling back, we're okay! Like, I kept yelling at her. I was we're going to be myself, okay! We're going to be okay! We're going to be okay! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking torture. Oh, there man. There was something the worst about, thing I ever went through. There was something about flying on Sunday, because you could feel it in the air when we were in uh, Vegas, we're getting ready to go. We're like, wow, oh, I think this one's going to be a bad one today, It was man. tense, because we also have flown in a lot of bad weather, but nothing like uh, this past Sunday. It got so fucking quiet in the cabin when we were yeah. bouncing around mm -hmm. in, the, in the clouds. And uh, Patrice turns around and goes, I just want to, and, and to all of us, he goes kind of loud. He goes, I just want to tell you, I, I love you all. <laughs> and then turns back around. And the second we landed, he went, look, I, it got a little crazy back there. I got a little scared. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't mean nothing by it. No. And then they canceled 500 flights after we landed. Yeah. So. yeah. They were but pretty much you're in the airport talking about after the, we. The, jostling around and yeah. shaking and, and the plane kind of doing those whoo. and I was looking out the window at the wing yeah. and you can anticipate what's going to happen in the fuselage by watching the wing tip yeah. so you can anticipate the bumps Yes. so you watch the wing tip and it man it's just it's moving like the, the wings are flapping. Yeah. I'm on a fucking, on a goose. like, an 1800s <laughs> guy's idea of a flying machine. Well, no, where the fucking, <laughs> yeah, where the wings flap and like he jumps off a rock and he yeah. crashes. <laughs> yeah. Like that guy's plane. It's yeah. going to drop a baby into a chimney <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but you, t you taught us that those wings could, like, touch. I've seen and wind, wind tunnels, tunnels and, and turbulence yeah. tests where the, oh, the wingtips mm. just about touch.
putch on top. Jesus. But they, can, I, they can bend, but you don't ever want to see them moving like that. Anthony and I had eye contact because we were both doing the same thing, looking out the window like, hello, where's the yeah. ground? Yeah. We've been approaching for like 40 minutes, <laughs> yeah. and Ant's looking at me, and then we're both looking out the window like... And then finally, when you saw the ground, finally, we were so, it was amazing a, how close we were. Yeah. A piece of ground come out, yeah. and we were low, and I looked it over going, did you see the ground? He goes, yeah, I just saw the ground. <laughs> and, and then I'm going, I see more ground. He goes, yeah, it's good. I go, we better start seeing runway, though, because yeah, yeah. it's getting yes. really low. No, but when you hit the ground in flights like that, the instant the wheels touch the ground, you're like, I don't care what else happens to me. Yeah, we life. can skid off of the fucking runway. <laughs> I don't care if What's some that? Com- country, if Iran yeah. invades tomorrow yeah. and uh, starts sodomizing me daily. I made it through I'm that. On the ground. <laughs> I'm on the ground. When the wheels hit, it's like that for two, maybe three mm-hmm. seconds, you're you stop breathing. Yes. And wait for that quick slowdown. And then you like, like, oh, like, and, then, like, and then you feel it instantly. Like, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, get on the phone. Call and then you then just you start get start worrying about whatever bullshit. <laughs> you uh, just get broadsided by a 747 yeah. coming in at 500 <laughs> miles an hour. Hey, we met. <laughs> what Jesus. the? Uh, what we're happened? Gonna, we're going to break. And, uh, and I guess uh, we don't need uh, bad flight stories today. Louis C.K. Oh, we just one. heard the topper. Louis, Louis C.K. What happened, Jimmy? One more. What, what happened, Jim? I was uh, I was flying to L.A. actually, mm. and uh, it was after breakfast, and uh, my cinnamon roll <laughs> didn't have as much frosting oh. as the cinnamon roll on the person next to me. Who is it? What were Fuckers. Hmm? It's awful. You must have been panicking. Yeah. I had to ring the bell twice <laughs> to get my tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> Tom in Tennessee, what's up? Hey, morning, boys. What's going on? Hey, hey um, I worked on jets for nine and a half years, and the pilot told Louie a flat-out lie. You cannot look at the gas in the plane. Really? Everything is sealed. They would have had to bring out major tools to open the tanks up. The whole jet. Is a big ass fuel tank in the wings, the belly, everything. Right. No, you know what? That makes sense because it's not like when you fill up a jet, you just fucking. St- it's not like a motorcycle. You just yeah. Stick the nozzle between your legs. I just that when you kind of tip when it around to make it hear the sloshing. When you told me that, all I thought of was a scene in um, uh, The Great Escape when Steve McQueen takes the gas cap off and shakes takes. the bike a little yeah, bit, yeah. and then <laughs> rah, 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 takes off again. It's like all, what, all what they did was the sealed up. All they did was rely on the fuel truck. Asking him how much he had in the truck and how much he has left. Oh, God, oh, so somebody's doing, like, a seventh-grade math And problem. let me tell you, they never top the tanks off. No, they don't. Because they only, it would be, um, it's not fuel efficient. Right. They put in enough gas they, as they need to get from point A to point B yep. and then some extra for circling. Yep. But you, if you fill your tank up, you're just hauling more weight. Yep. So uh, they had enough. just enough. Thanks, pal. That's, that makes Four really minutes work. is frightening. <laughs> this, yes. is, this is really funny. Steve on Long Island, go ahead. I just wanted to relate a quick story. When I was back in, uh, going back to college upstate, um, we took a Cessna up there, and we, we got some ice on our wings. Uh-oh. And I looked down, bro, and we weren't moving. And all of a sudden, my, I look at the pilot, and I go, are we going to go down? And he didn't answer, and my buddy in the back goes, we're all going to die! <laughs> it was the sickest shit. What I happened? All my life. And we were going backwards because of all the ice on the wings, man. Oh, it was scary. Going backwards? <laughs> <laughs> it might have looked that way, sir. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> like a piece of paper. All right. He's and fluttering then a giant, down. a dragon came along. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Plucked us out of the That's sky. Right. Don't call the show again. You should have hit a mountain, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, can I help you?